the mid-atlantic waters off the coast of maryland seem so pristine at times we still have dolphins feeding we still have wonderful seas to play in down deep further off the coast we have coral reefs this particular footage was shot in 2004 only seven years into management we've been trying uh, our own management since 92 and federal management began in 97 abundance was really doing wonderfully uh, sea bass were recovering magnificently recently we've had uh, the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management doing surveys for the wind towers off the coast numerous surveys over numerous years and these very same reefs that I'm showing you now no longer have that sort of abundance of fish at all in fact sometimes we hardly see any sea bass at all on reefs in the Maryland wind area and near the Maryland wind area the sub bottom profiler is a type of almost a ground penetrating radar that is used to uh, look deep into the bottom that sub bottom profiler drive sea bass and flounder nuts it makes them crazy it makes them leave they have left this habitat this is the very same reef that i opened with this is the exact same reef the only species you see here are tog tog and if you look closely you'll probably spot a codfish or two we have codfish we have tog tog but now it says we don't have any sea bass because they've all fled north people in florida and georgia catching sea bass just fine but we don't have any because they've all fled north this piece here this is just a piece of natural reef it, it should be so many sea bass here it's unbelievable and yet nothing it's right there just outside the maryland wind area and several years of uh, surveys and these aren't the surveys that the air cannons and all that like they talk about for oil and gas this type of surveying equipment, this sub-bottom profiler, is theoretically has no impact on fish, whatever. No impact. A couple ghost traps there. Here's what we had. This is what, uh, just a normal healthy reef. A couple years into management. We still don't have any recognition of our soft corals, the sea whips here you see in orange, or the white corals, the star corals. Uh, we still don't have any recognition of that as a central fish habitat. Mid-Atlantic Regional Council on the Ocean, Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and National Marine Fisheries. Nobody's helping fishermen that I can tell. This 500 plus square miles of ocean floor were vacated of sea bass this past summer and in summers before. And the only thing the government says is that their survey equipment makes no more noise than a ship's propeller. A ship's propeller. But it vacated the fish in 500 square miles of bottom. We need government help. And the way we're going about it sure isn't working. <laughs>